Hey out there legal warriors. In this video I'm going to cover even more common sexting scams that my office and others are seeing in Washington State. And I think it's really important that you at least know about some of this type of direct scamming that can go on because so many people fall a victim to it. So if you're interested in protecting yourself or, or this area of the law in the world, stay tuned because this is the video for you. My name is attorney Lance Schreiber and I'm a defense attorney in Linwood, Washington. My law firm's been defending people charged with crimes all throughout Washington State for more than 20 years. And I'm putting out these videos to help educate the public. So if you find this useful, please like and please subscribe. More people will get the help they need. Now we're just gonna jump right into it. You know. I never thought I would need to put out the first video I ever did about what I'm calling sexting scams. That's just my own word for it. But now there's been some changes and there's even more sophisticated sexting scams out there that I have seen over the past year or so. You know, I think more people have been at home during COVID. There's just more potential for people to get into mischief. So what do I mean by a sexting scam? I mean that somebody who you probably don't know, that you've probably interacted with online, all of a sudden uh, claims to be someone else and starts threatening you and extorting you and demanding, demanding money from you. Um, and that can be really panicking. I've heard from people all over the United States, not just Washington State, um, who've seen one of my prior videos who, who are reaching, about, reaching out about these issues. So what's one common example? Well, you know, let's say you're a single person or not, and you're, you're you know, texting with someone online through a dating app. There's all lots of different applications and websites, and it might be, you know, uh, pretty innocent, okay? And then all of a sudden, you might get a phone call from someone purporting to be the parents, right? Uh, or a relative, uh, but typically a parent of, the person you've been communicating with. I mean, it could even be on Xbox, right? And hey, you know, my daughter is only 14 and you, what have you been doing talking to her? And I'm gonna go to the police. You should not be talking to a minor, even if it's nothing sexual, right? And I've got to make, you've got to make this right. I need this much money to make this go away, right? And you know, we might not be very sophisticated. We're at home, we're alone, we're panicked. We're hearing someone accuse us of something and we didn't do anything wrong, right? And even if we were being a little uh, flirtatious with someone, they were purporting to be an adult ahead of time. That's how they bait you into this scam, right? So uh, that is one situation, the parent who has caught the young one, right? Uh, who now wants payment so they don't go to the police. That's sort of like the, the, you know, the basic level uh, scam uh, that I've seen for quite a long time. Um, What's uh, a second uh, level of scam? Well, the next level of sophistication is it's a police officer that's reaching out to you, a supposed police officer. Let's get this right, it's not a police officer, uh, <laughs> when it's a scam at least. And they might reach out to you from a spoofed phone number, right? I've seen here plenty of cases in the Seattle area where they're actually using the Seattle Police Officer Guild's phone number, somehow spoofing it so it looks like it's coming from the police. You look that number up online and oh my God, it's coming from the police. It must be a real police officer, right? Well, a real police officer is never gonna ask you for money, right? At least not an honest one. So I'm not gonna say it's impossible, but let's hope it's impossible. So, you know, you need to, come in and pay me this money or I'm gonna arrest you for whatever wrong it is they're gonna make up that they can scare you into. So think how sophisticated that is. They're claiming to be a police officer and they're spoofing a phone number, right? Where they're claiming to be a police officer. And that one has gotten bigger over time, right? I've seen that multiple times in recent history. Um, and let's go to uh, really diabolical and advanced, okay? And this one, you've got to put yourself maybe in a little worse, worse position, but let's say that uh, you've contacted someone on a dating site and maybe you've exchanged some photos, right? Some risque photos, that's not impossible. Or maybe they just claim you did, okay? And now they start to extort you by claiming that they're gonna post uh, a picture of you 
uh, exposed or a picture of your face on the dating app and some private part may or may not be yours that you either you know sent when you shouldn't or maybe it didn't and they're just saying hey we're going to put this all over the internet we're going to send this to the police and, and they'll actually mock up a photoshop version of what they supposedly are putting out there right you may start hearing from other people who are claiming to be uh, their victims right you know hey this person's got me in trouble in the past make sure you pay this person so they don't do the same thing to you it just goes on and on and on with a level of sophistication so rule of thumb if they're asking for money the answer is no if they're asking for money the answer is no right because they're probably not even in this country who's ever doing this and they're probably not real so what do you do what do you do in the situation well the first thing you do is not to panic because you know, our reality is whatever we make it at the time, right? You know, when people accuse us of doing wrong, you know, we might have that, uh, that panic reaction. And then we do dumb things, right? We send the money, we respond, we get in deeper, stuff like that. So we don't panic. Number two is we just stop, right? Stop doing things, okay? Um, and stopping communicating with them may not stop them from communicating with you, right? They may keep you communicating with you. Um, I've shown clients how we can do reverse phone searches and find some of your relatives even. They might start reaching out to your relatives if they are really sophisticated, you know, uh, because there's ways to find out through public records and even some free records about who is associated with you, okay? Um, and then if, you know, they don't go away or you want to make them go away, then you get yourself an attorney, okay? Because from what we've seen, if we get involved and we can make it very clear that, hey, we're gonna turn you in for extortion, scammer, we're gonna turn you into the police for spoofing phone numbers, we're gonna get an investigation against you and it might be federal, right? They don't need that type of headache. There's a million possible marks or victims out there. And so while they might push back and wiggle a little bit, typically we're gonna stop hearing from them once an attorney sort of gets involved that's unique how it needs to be said and what needs to be done is different in each situation. But if you're the type of person who wants to have you know, protection from them and even from yourself, it's not a bad idea to reach out to an attorney who has some experience in this area. Some attorneys may say, I don't even know what you're talking about. And um, you know, this is not an area of the law we started doing on purpose. I just was hearing from people and um, you know, they needed help. And since I've been a prosecutor for seven years and defense for 20 plus years, um, you know, I at least knew enough about both sides about maybe to, we could help. So um, that's some of the scams out there. There's a lot more than that. These are the ones that I'm calling the sexting scams. But anytime someone is threatening you for money, uh, remember, it's probably not something you should do. But, you know, I can't give you legal advice. You need to reach out to, you know, your own lawyer for that. But this is educational to let you know about, you know, what's real and what's probably not out there. So if you found this useful, please like and please subscribe. More people will get to see it. And more importantly, if you got a legal problem, a criminal problem, if you got a problem like this, feel free to give my office a call. We've been doing this for more than 20 years. We'll do everything we can to listen to what happened, to identify a way forward, and, and we will be there for you. Thank you.